Hello everybody. Today you are going to learn how to upgrade your sweet CRM system using the recommended way, the command line. My name is Bastian Hammer, your go-to expert when it comes to all things CRM, e-commerce, marketing, automation and integration. So let's go. What I like to do once in a while is just check out the, the sweetcm.com website, especially at the very bottom, the latest news. And as you can see, there was a, a release just recently. And that's always exciting because maybe there are new features, maybe there are bug fixes and stuff. And as we can see, oh, it addresses a critical security vulnerability. So here we have to pay attention and I want to see the release notes and here it urges us on, this is critical, it contains critical security fixes. You should update as soon as possible. So usually you've got the choice. Do you want to really go through the upgrade and get new features or similar, or do you want to wait for the next one here? Oh my, you can see it's a huge list. Maybe it's not as severe, but I wouldn't be kidding about this one. So you have your sweet CRM system with all your data out there in the wild on the server somewhere. And it's basically accessible by everybody and everybody can test now. Did you already install the upgrade or not? Maybe it's possible to inject some, some code or whatever into your system. Therefore, better be quick on this and upgrade. Additionally, there are a couple of new bug fixes. I've got a PDF rendering issue before and there was like a like an email issue as well. So therefore, yeah, happy about those as well. And we'll just do it. How is it being done? Fairly simple if you go through the upgrade guide. And that's what we're going to do now. So first of all, general information general information before getting started with the upgrade guide. You've got a couple of preparation steps. Okay, well, you should upgrade this one, this one. If you do a minor upgrade from 8.6 to 8.6.1, you should be very fine and jump right into before starting the upgrade. So one important thing, compatibility metrics. Again, I assume if you're upgrading from 8.6 to 8.6.1, one, you should be totally fine because you're already using PHP 8.1, 8.2 or something. If not, if you're still on 7, anything, down, upgrade quickly. And here the same for the databases. It's quite a variety of versions that we can choose from. So usually PHP is the biggest showstopper here. And then, of course, try this first in your test instance, not on your, not on your productive one and then take a backup as well. So I created a snapshot before starting with it. And what I've not done is I've not configured the error reporting on the command line because I didn't have issues with these so far, but I've set the correct um, error reporting in the php.ini file inside my web server itself. Very important, if you have made any core file changes, they are going to be lost now. Therefore, pay attention that you always work on file changes inside your custom folder and not on the core files. Yeah, it's just what, what needs to be done. So therefore, put everything into your, um, yeah, into your custom folder. And then before running any of the commands, we should still check whether the app environment is set to prod. And that's what we're going to do now. Change to the command line here. I'll check, yes, I'm in the right folder. That looks familiar. And I um, want to see the end file. And yes, we're in the prod mode. Very good. Next thing that I'm going to do is we're going to jump ahead and go to the upgrade guide. So here it's for two 8.2 and above. So if you're 8.0, 8.1 or something, make sure that you're using the correct the correct guide for this one. What I want to upgrade, um, as you can see here, my sweet CM system, so it's already 8.6. I try to keep it fairly upgraded or, or 
reason. So I'm on the 860 and I just have to upgrade to 861. Therefore, it makes it easy. Now I have to flip the steps here. So I don't download first. I need to create the folder here first. If you are on Windows, you're first downloading it to your computer and then later on upload the file via FTP. That works as well. But I would like to do it right away from the server. So in order to do this, I first need to create the folder. And I do this by, I'm using it as root here because it's just easier. And then I want to make directory, mk dir, And I want to create this directory because as you can see above, it doesn't exist yet. And in order to not have a failed command here, I want to um, add the parameter parent. So it creates the parent folders as well. And if I list my directory contents again, and then you can see the temp folder has been created, but we're the wrong user, not a problem for now because we have to reset the permissions in a bit. But first let's download the file. So in order to download it, I'm going to the download page, right click on download, copy my link here. And I have to move to the temp package upgrade folder that I just created. And I use wget for downloading the file. So it connects, it downloads, it takes a second. And as you can see, the file name is like this. And I had issues with this because later on my command for the upgrade is different or is expecting a different zip file. In order to circumvent this issue, I'm just moving or renaming the file that I downloaded just then from this one here to that one dot zip. So I downloaded the sweet CRM dash eight dash and so on to the upper lowercase dash eight point six. So I need to pay attention to this one and the version as well, because you know, if there are several versions, it's easy to get them mixed up later on. And this guide here contains the information for the upgrade to eight six zero. Therefore, yeah, just pay attention to the versions. So the first thing that we need to do now after downloading the file is reset the correct permission. It's mostly for what I just mentioned, because we do have this, um, we download it as root. So download and installing, fortunately, very simple. So I'm going to the, to the initial guide here. And it doesn't have much to do, but check all the directories. So first go up in my file structure or like in my hierarchy and it checks for all the directories to set it to 2755. Similar to the files, everything which is not already correct will be corrected now. And I want to do this one now. And you will see a change here. And I want to visualize it here in my in my filezilla. So just to make it a bit more convenient, not only use command line, you can see the temp folder has been created. It is assigned to the wrong user. Now I'm executing the command and now I'm refreshing my filezilla here. And you can see now it's the correct user with a WW data assigned. So one more thing, which I probably don't have to do at all because it's still set or configured in this way. I have to make this file here executable in order to progress. So totally fine. I can keep this page open because we need this several times later on. Run the upgrade command, fairly simple. So I just copy despite the minor version number here. And let's go through it. So from the from the folder bin, like binary, the console application is being executed with a parameter sweet CRM double colon um, or like colon app upgrade. And that is already fine. So it knows, okay, the app has to be upgraded and the version is sweet CRM 861. And now you can see that this version is matching the file name that we just downloaded here. That's what I said before. So for PHP dot I and I didn't didn't bother to change the uh, the deprecated to to hide the deprecated messages, but the rest looks quite good. So 
Backup original modules, check package, extract package, check permissions, install upgrade package, clear cache. Let's see what happened here now. So I'm moving or changing into the directory. And as you can see, it has backup or has created some backup details for me. So here in backup, I got the module folder and in extracted, I got basically this whole folder here, including my public and maybe my, my custom configuration. So very nice. Um, no, extracted is just the extraction and backup, of course, is the backup. But um, as said before, the custom module is not being backup because it's not being touched. And everything that you changed here in the core files will be deleted now. You should not have done it anyway. So therefore, you've got a backup, even though, yeah, you, you're not sweet. The upgrade process is not required to do this. Next thing is, again, reset the permissions. And now I can do the same thing again. I simply do like 2755 and then the other one was 644. And then we want to change um, CR the user and this will take a little bit longer because I extracted everything as the root user now. So most of the stuff belongs to the root user as you can see still here. But now when I refresh this one, the command already got to there and it will take a little while to do this one as well, just because it's a lot of files and directories that need to be changed here to the new owner. And again, I don't expect that there have been any changes to the executable bit on, on this one here, but just in case or to comply, to tell me as uh, to do as it told me, I will do the same thing here. So run the post upgrade command on our sweet CRM console run. And now it's important I do this one here. It executes the same command again, but now with a different parameter, it does an upgrade finalize. And now I need to explain or like I need to tell the version as well. But there's one more thing that I want to do, which is the merge mode. And what does the merge mode mean? Let's see. We have this somewhere, somewhere in the upgrade guide. I think you have to move back a step. So merge modes. There we go. And here, you know, you've got the var devs and you've got configurations of your views and everything. And now is the question what you want to do. Basically, you did your configurations and they should stay the same. But maybe there is something new, like, like new configurations, new field or whatever coming from SweetCRM itself. Keep mode is the default. So that's a default mode. And you don't have to add this one here if you don't want to. If you want to try to make, a, yeah, if you want to try to take all the new stuff that SweetCM brought to you and you want to add your, to keep your stuff basically as well, you want to merge this all, you can do this one here at the same time a backup file of the previous version will be um, added to the to the folder. So therefore you should be good. If you're saying you did something before, but you don't care much about it, you can override as well. It will delete your customizations inside this folder here. So therefore you don't have to, um, yeah, you, you can kind of restart from everything. So in here, if you've done something, if you remember it and you want to see whether you can get the new stuff from SweetCM and, and merge it with your things, then try this one here. And I will just enter it here. Merge mode. Again, the deprecated because we haven't configured our PHP configuration file. Now it's running the process for the post upgrade. So it will go through a couple of things like config entries to config files will be added. And then we've got metadata merge, which I just said about the, the merge mode. And then it has been successfully merged, very nice. 
in case on default extension. So this is only if you have done something in development, then you need to pay attention to this one. If you have just a standard installation, you don't have to worry much about it. Overall, successfully cleared cache and successfully run migration. That's very good to know. What can we do now? We can go to our CM system and you already see that there's an error and I have to go back to my homepage or reload it from the beginning. So I would just give it a try. And as you can see, it doesn't work. Oh, right. We forgot something. Just stick to the to the um, uh, to the upgrade guide. So we have not set the correct permissions here. So don't be too impatient. We still have to go through the whole thing again. And with the ownership as well, this will take some time again. And again, the command line. I don't think I have it. A minus X. What? Where was it? It was this one here, plus X, of course, not minus X. So I don't think I changed anything. And this is why we have a 500 error just because of um, unreadable directories or no permissions or something on the server. Now I go again into about and check what I've got here. And perfect 861 is here. That makes me very happy. I'm secure now. I can sleep without any issues again because my my really company data is not exposed anymore to any security issues and therefore yeah do the upgrades quickly if possible and then you can yeah yeah stay safe one thing here in case it didn't show the correct version you can go to repair quick repair and rebuild so that happened to me just before as well in case um, yeah, in case it doesn't show up right away, give this one a try and then go back to the about. And now it should show up the latest that you're all safe now on the new version. Let's quickly wrap up. So we have learned how to download your upgrade file, how to um, prepare your server for an upgrade with yeah, going through the different checks. And then we have applied the upgrade, we have finalized the upgrade, and eventually it worked out very smoothly. Stay tuned for more videos and see you next time. Bye.